Hi, I'm John Haynes, Tournament Bass Angler here in Mound, Minnesota, and uh, today I'm going to be talking with you a little bit about things that you should have in your tackle box or tackle bag. Uh, I prefer tackle bag, and, and here's why. Uh, as you can see here, um, the, the nice thing about this is, is that with the tackle bag system, you can put in separate trays uh, or tackle boxes within this, and it holds a lot more lures and that's really important especially in bass fishing because you need a lot of different colors you need a lot of different types of lures and I would say if you're just getting started out it can be pretty overwhelming because there's so many different types of lures and uh, and things that you can go with one of the things I would always make sure to have is what's called terminal tackle and I've got one whole box here of just what we would call terminal tackle and that's anything from from worm weights to to beads to uh, split rings, uh, to uh, material to use to peg the weights, um, to hooks, to jig heads, uh, and uh, all different types of weights and, and different types of hooks, different sizes of hooks, because that's going to give you a variety to be able to rig up pretty much anything you need to for a day on the lake. And then some of the other stuff that you can, that you can add to that, uh, one of the more popular lures out there are spinner baits and uh, so I have uh, I use secret weapon uh, lure spinner baits and the reason for that uh, is because they uh, it's a system that I can use to create the spinner bait that I need so it's got uh, heads in here and it's got um, with different weights and different colors um, I've got all the different types of blades that I need for for those and the different colored skirts uh, as well uh, as trailer hooks. Um, and the nice thing is that fits all in one box. So I would say spinner baits is, is another good thing to have. Um, jigs are another uh, popular fishing lure uh, that is used in bass fishing. Uh, there's almost no body of water uh, that uh, you fish that you can't uh, catch fish on a jig. Um, and uh, so I have an assortment of jigs uh, in different weights and different colors uh, depending upon the area uh, where I'm going to be fishing. Um, and then I also think that having some, uh, some crankbaits is always good as well. And again, there are all kinds of uh, varieties of colors uh, and styles and, and different types of crankbaits. To customize your lures, uh, sometimes you want to add a little color to them, maybe especially with soft plastics. Um, I like to use the spike it uh, sticks. The other thing uh, is some super glue. And super glue is helpful in a number of, of different uh, ways. Maybe you, you break off uh, uh, something uh, on your rod or you know, a line guide or you, uh, you bust a rod tip or something and you need to repair it. Uh, you can have a repair kit in your uh, tackle bag as well as you can have a little super glue it helps with that so again i'm john haynes uh, tournament bass angler thank you for listening to this episode where we covered what you need to bring with you on a fishing trip have a successful day on the lake